Good evening and welcome to our first winter recital. We're so excited about this and all of my piano students are ready. Last summer, I think it was, the Strings did a really nice concert up here and afterwards I went up to Mr. Leslie and asked, do you think there's any way we could get the piano on the stage? Like I just, just could see it, it would be so nice. He said, oh yeah, piece of cake. He just had knee replacement surgery last Wednesday. Would you believe this piano got on the stage today? <laughs> he had a little bit of help, but. You're gonna hear from, <laughs> you're gonna hear from uh, many different students today. I was thinking on my drive over here that, you know, I have some students that love, love, love piano. Others, not so much. But their parents, just like mine, and of course I'm so thankful that my parents kept me going. There were times I liked it, and you know, other times, no, not, not, did not want to practice. But my parents were those parents that made me keep doing it, and of course I'm so glad today. And I talk to them sometimes about how that they have no idea where the Lord may have them someday. And I, I'll name off various different countries. You might be in this country or this country, and they just look at me like. Um, but how exciting it, it would be if some of them could be used by the Lord someday in a church somewhere. So we will go ahead and get started with Miss Avery Brown. Oh, and I did want to say, if you have a cell phone, just make sure that it's on silent so it doesn't disturb them. Okay, Avery.
on behalf of all of us who played tonight, even those who couldn't be here, we would like to present this bouquet of flowers to our wonderful teacher, Mrs. Edwards. And Mrs. Edwards, can you come to the front, please? Um, I know we all appreciate the time and effort that you put into each one of us, and we thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we all pitched in and got a gift for you, and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to take an intermission um, for just a few minutes. Uh, high school students will be coming up here to get some things set up. I need guys to help me move the piano back a little bit and get some stands for our music and everything. Um, we'd like to have all the piano students who played tonight to come up on the stage for a picture uh, before, uh, during the intermission. And so then we'll take a We'll, we'll aim to start at 7, but I'm sure it won't be 7. It'll be a f just a few minutes after 7. We'll get going again with our instrumental selections that are on the other side of your program. Thank you, and see you right after 7 o'clock. Piano students, please come up for a picture. All right, we're ready to get started again. Sorry about that taking so long, but we have a whole different style of program for the second half. We're going to have a lot of different instrumental groups. Almost all of them will be high school groups. Um, at the beginning of the school year, Mrs. Stephanie Rush asked if she could work with my clarinet players. And since I'm not a clarinet player, I said that would be great. So um, she is going to have all her little clarinet, well, little, she's got from fourth grade in through high school and herself going to start us out. And then through the rest of the program will be um, different groups from our high school senior band. I um, assigned them to play in a small group, and all of those groups played at our Jolly 60s concert. And then I told the senior band members they had to pick their own group so that they didn't get the group that I assigned them to. So they could find their own group. We, we do have a couple of the groups that played for Jolly 60s to fill out the program on the list, but almost all of these are groups that they put together themselves. Um, the brass choir is, I said, hey, you guys want to do this? And they said yes, so hopefully we can do it. <laughs> um, and we do have a couple of our teachers helping with. Um, Ms. Gunzenhauser is helping with this string quartet, and uh, Gideon lassoed me into playing with him for a duet, so later on in the evening. So uh, without, what do they say, without further ado, uh, clarinets are going to start and we'll follow the program through. There will be a little time in between because of stands and the number of people and where people will play. So please be patient with us. Thank you.
Thank you all for coming out. Um, there's uh, several different things that I thought we could accomplish with tonight. And um, I think many of them were accomplished. And in the, fut the future is yet to see the one thing. Um, and that is whether feeling the pressure of being uh, playing in public, which in one sense is all that we're trying to do here in the music program. We're a Christian academy, and we're training people to play for the Lord's service, and that means playing in public uh, in the end. And so the pressure of playing in public, the remembrance of how well or the few or a lot of mistakes sometimes that you did or how you presented yourself, hopefully we learn from that. We don't just say, oh, I'm, I'm nothing. Nobody's nothing. But if we just accept mediocrity or we accept mistakes, well, I'm just a human. We all make mistakes. Uh, we we, we want to make sure we don't have that. So I encourage you parents, I thank you for all the, um, you listen to this stuff at home. <laughs> and uh, thank you for uh, helping your students and encouraging them in the different ways that you encourage them, whether it's uh, do it now or <laughs> that was good or whatever. Um, but in the end, uh, we, want, we want this and what we're training to do to honor and glorify God. And so I encourage you, besides just encouraging all the time, help them to learn from what happened tonight. It was a great night, but every one of us made mistakes. Every one of us, even me. Okay. So, and we can learn from that. We can, we can make ourselves better. We can work harder. We can say, you know, I could have done better. And if we can do better, we ought to do better. We ought to. So um, I'm trying to be encouraging because I'm very pleased with what happened. But one of the things that we want to do is learn from it and learn in the future from it. So thank you again for coming. Um, I don't see Mrs. Mitchell, so she must be down in the dining room with some uh, finger foods and snacks that uh, everybody who wanted to could bring. So we welcome you to go on down to the dining room and fellowship and talk about how great we did. <laughs> and um, uh, a parent wants a picture of band members, so yes. <laughs> 